Mm. There's also, so is it onions or garlic that you can't handle? What is I the food like that onions. you onions. Okay. <laughs> I do not like onions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So, that just came out of nowhere. That just came, because I'm like, I, I, like, it looks like onion or garlic or whatever else. So when people had an um, um, illness, a lot of times what people believed is if you cut open an onion and you put it next to their bedside, the onion would absorb all of the bad stuff that they're coughing out. Ugh. And so what happened a lot of times is that we, like you would wake up and you're like, you know, just think of like the day you wake up and you have the flu and you're just kind of like, I don't want to die, okay. feel bad and everything else. And you roll over and there's an onion or maybe two or three onions. They could be all around your room. Okay. Gross. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. It gets worse. Hold your tongue. Hold your tongue. It's coming. So as you cough out, it's one of those, it's picking up all of the, the, um, stuff that your fluid and all mm -hmm. of that kind of stuff and it's starting to rot and smell bad and everything else. Yeah, gross. But a lot of times, like if you had black death or if you had pneumonia or if you had something else, like as you're dying, you're watching that onion die too. You're watching it like fall apart. That's gross. So a lot of people cannot stand onions at all. Yeah, like just like cannot, like just cannot deal with them at all. Also with garlic is another one that they would put or they would make you eat it or put, put it around your neck like they would open it up and like like make a little necklace out of it and put it around because they were thinking that like and it does help out but it's one of those a lot of times they weren't changing it out either like it's like the trash is full that onion is going bad you should throw it out and put another one in there but they weren't they were like leaving it to rot. Okay that's gross. Okay. Did I uh, die tragically in that life in a moat by chance? Not in that lifetime. It was okay. another lifetime, early 1800s. Okay. Early, well, 1836 to 46, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. In water. Something it underneath was, got me. Uh-huh. Um, it was like a branch that caught your foot. And so you okay. Could, but it was like... It was like a branch that had been underneath the water, so it kind of felt... Did I fall in or did I get thrown in? I feel like... I feel like you were pushed in. Yeah. <laughs> and but they didn't realize that that's what you know what I'm saying like but the branch had been underneath there so it had like moss or what you know yeah, what I'm saying like it was like, kind of like slimy gooey kind of stuff mm -hmm. in there and your foot gets caught in there and you can't get it out. And it's one of those and like you can see the surface but you can't get to the surface. Like like you're close enough where you can see it. Like I could see I'm like right underneath the surface of the water but I can't get there from here. I notice a lot of when I do paintings, it's always water, so that's interesting. Like, it seems like water or sea things or yeah. moss or, so that's interesting. It is. Well, thanks, Ruth. This is very insightful. This is all news. <laughs> kind of like one of those, like, kind of the interesting <laughs> part. And But to me, it's one of those, like, for me, the interesting kind of cool part is when someone says something, I'll see the like the past the life, reason. like little real or story with it. That's cool. That's kind of like, oh, that's why they don't like that, or that's why they do this, or oh, that makes sense. That's really cool. Like because that. people don't realize like how much their past lives affect them. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the fun, cool part. It's like, hmm. Oh yeah, we could do a whole two hours about my past <laughs> lives. I'm sure why they affect me today. I'm sure. Well, that's kind of the cool part is because a lot of people don't realize like how many past lives they've had. So, if you are connecting online, how many past lives do you think Miss Michelle has had? Hmm. How many past lives? How many past lives do you think an average person has? thousands right it could be i'm like i'm not denying it i'm just like what like i didn't realize there was the possibility of so many past lives until i started going to your group readings so i was pretty shocked to know that you could have that many that's a lot of lives well and some of them are like like you're born and you're still born so like that still counts as alive or you're born and you're only alive for a little bit of time like a few days a few hours a few weeks and then you pass like how do you decide if you're coming back or not maybe that, you don't want to come back that is a very good question so maybe Ruth will do a video on it 